fishing uh, today I want to really get uh, not too involved but involved enough for you guys to have the confidence to throw a bait that I love throwing and I have tremendous confidence in and they are called swim jigs okay there's a lot of brands out there but there's one brand that I stick with that I swear by and they are a top-notch swim jig and I'm gonna tell you why I feel it's a top-notch swim jig and pretty much break down the components that are in it what makes it so durable what makes it run true and uh, what makes me have so much confidence in using it. I'm going to break down two colors for you and hopefully this will get you into uh, swim jig fishing because we're right at that area right now when the uh, the spawn is almost over. The smallies are already off the beds, they're already cruising around, the large mouth, the females are gone and the males are still kind of on there just hanging around but they're guarding and you got other people, uh, other other fish that are on the, on the outside uh, outskirts that are just looking to smash and hammer anything that come into the area. So a swim jig is a great technique to get in there and try to get those fish, okay, that are a little bit finicky on biting, but they love anything that imitates any kind of bait fish or shad coming in, okay? So stick around, let's take a look at these. I'm gonna get in even closer with the camera so you can see pure detail on these jigs, okay? Right back. Okay guys, we're back, and you are looking at the Divine Swim Jig by Sixth Sense. Those are two colors that I use primarily whenever I'm using swim jigs, okay? They are called the Sexified, which is a really, really nice colored jig when you get into that dirtier water. Just because of that chartreuse highlight, I really, really enjoy that chartreuse highlight a lot. And this is your Threadfin Shad for clearer water, okay? I like the Threadfin Shad because it imitates all kinds of things. Like you can imitate a gizzard shad or any kind of, you know, alwive or any of those other kinds of sheds that are in the water. But in clear water, it's awesome. I love it, you know. Um, in dirtier water, I love to add a little bit of chartreuse. Now, what makes these jigs really stand out apart from any other swim jigs that are out on the market, you have absolute, precise, I mean, weed guards that are straight as an arrow, okay? Your heads on these, the detail is absolutely amazing. I mean, when was the last time you actually seen a swim jig with a gill plate, okay? Recessed eyes, you have eye sockets on these. A keel, look at the keel on the bottom of this, okay? That keel runs this bait so true through cover, which is why I'm not gonna, I don't use any other swim jigs. I've been using these for about three years now, the Divine Swim Jigs, and I love them, I swear by them. And you have a stout, and I mean a very, very stout 5-0 hook, okay? Strong, strong hook, okay? And here's my favorite part right here. This is the selling factor to any kind of swim jig you're going to want because I love a good bait keeper. If you have one little straight line and it has like that little L shape that locks in your soft plastic, I'm not really a big fan of that. Or if you have the lead that comes down, it's got two little spikes and it's another thing. You got to keep squeezing your plastic down to like grab it a little bit more with a screw lock hook like that I mean that bait really stays on and that's what you need you really need that bait to stay on whatever you're going to use as a trailer okay they got great great colors over there okay but these are my two primary colors that I use for dirty water and for clear water now Casey Sobzak and his team got together and made these uh, swim jigs and it took a while for them to come out with the perfect prototypes and the perfect designs and I think they did a great job and hey I'm not just saying hey these are them okay I always keep at least at least 25 of them with me on the boat at all times and I got about another 40 of them in the closet okay but for these right here I'm gonna show you which ones I like to use for the trailers now there are multiple trailers that you can use on these but believe it or not with the pairings that I like for these two for a Threadfin Shed and a Sexified I will go into the Reaction Innovations Little Dipper okay I like to use a Gunnersville a Gunnersville Shed, okay, little dipper on the thread fin, and I will use the booty sweat on 
that chartreuse sexified. I mean, when we take these out of the packages, look at the type of imitation it's using. I mean, it matches so perfect with what you have here with the colorations and the sparkle, adding a little chartreuse. I mean, just putting them together like that, you can see, you know, why you would add these types of shad into these, into these mixes. These patterns right here have worked for me for a long, long time. And I really think you should give it an owe it to yourself to try this type of technique when you're working around cover, coming around the new uh, the beds that are uh, already gone already, you know, going around uh, bluegill beds and everything else like that. I'm telling you right now, you're missing out on a whole nother spectrum of fishing unless you get into the swim, bay, uh, sw uh, swim jig world, okay? Now, let's rig one of these on so you see how to do it a little bit easier, okay? I like to flip it upside down. All right, put all, take all your, uh, all your silicone and stuff, whatnot, out of your skirt, put it right down. You line up the bait, okay? Sometimes you can bite a little bit of the head off if you want or whatever. I like to line up the bait, hold it right by the ribs, count the ribs, boom, right there, hold it, okay? Now, pinch your weed guard down, okay? Pinch your weed guard down, put your hook piece in, okay? Bring that baby right through. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pinch it in the middle, send it down, and then obviously you have to do your twisting. As you're twisting it, you're going to bring your bait over, twist again, bring your bait over, twist it again, bring your bait over one last time on your third ring. Okay, get your, get your silicone out of the way, do your screw lock, bring it through, shake it down. Oof. That is, that's nasty. That is really nasty. And I'm telling you right now, it's the same with the other one. Now, when I use these, I like to use a high speed retreat reel. I never use anything less than a seven foot medium heavy rod, okay? Uh, when I go for the line, I have to use at least 17 pound fluorocarbon because you really want to jack them up. And the fluorocarbon, you don't really want it to see the line. So I'll, I'll actually do without the braid, uh, the braid, uh, backing with the fluorocarbon leader. I'm going to go straight fluorocarbon on this uh, anywhere between 15 to 17. I really, really like the 17. But if you're really downsizing and you're getting a little line skittish, you can go into that uh, 15 pound ratio. But if you're going to get into this type of fishing, I really suggest you give six cents divine swim jigs a try because they are absolutely phenomenal and they are top notch. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you guys stuck around to watch this video. I really hope you enjoy it. Get out there, try these colors, and uh, I'll put on the description below on uh, which colors they are and which jigs, okay? Once again, this is Sexified, and this is Threadfin Shed, okay? Reaction Innovation Little Dippers, get it there. Gunnersville Shed and Booty Sweat. Go get them, guys. Good luck on the water. Thumbs up.